and welcome to another hack job hair tutorial with Matchstick Merriweather. For this tutorial, you will need at least two hair ties, some bobby pins, and a hairbrush, or a comb, whichever you prefer for putting your hair up. Today I am going to do some fake bumper bangs. This is great if you are someone who decided as soon as this whole shelter in place thing started to cut your own bangs and perhaps it didn't go too well. Or if you really are thinking about cutting your bangs and you're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that. No matter what, I'm sure you look fabulous and either way, this hairstyle works. Now it is a little bit easier if you have longer hair, if you have really short hair, I honestly don't know how to make this work. I'll be honest, but you can always do this with a wig or like a clip in hair piece and modify it. If you have bangs already, before you start, what you will need to do is basically hide the bangs you have. So let me show you really quick. I'm going to pretend like I have bangs. So if you have bangs, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I told you it's a hack job, right? You're gonna try to pin them back as close as you can to your scalp with some hairpins just across. And don't worry, you're not gonna see them. Um, and you might have to use a few bobby pins, but you're gonna have hair laying over them. So anyway, take, if you already have short bangs, pin them back. And if you need to hairspray or whatever, that's totally fine. And try to get them as close to the center as you can. So even if you have like a funny little thing sticking up there, doesn't matter. Totally doesn't matter. And again, if you have no bangs, this will be even easier. If you have really short hair, this will look a little different. Okay, so to get started, you're going to split your hair into two pieces. I basically go a little bit behind my ear. You may have to adjust how much hair you use depending on how thick your hair is. You're basically going to create a high ponytail almost to the front of your head. Okay? So this can be a little, a little strange. As far as the part, um, this is a hack job. I really don't care if it's a clean part or not. We're not trying to make this look like anything super special. A lot of times when I do this, I'll put a scarf or something in my hair anyway, because these are like fake bumper bangs. Um, I can do real bumper bangs. I just hate doing them. And I usually screw them up and have to do them five or six times. And then I get really angry. Whereas I can do this in like five minutes or less. So anyway, I grab about that much hair, enough that I have a decent tail. You know, okay, so I'm gonna pull my hair forward. Let's just check out those pandemic roots really quick. Look at that outgrowth. So, so beautiful. Okay, it's okay, we're all in this together. So just pull it forward, all right? And if you have your other bangs pinned back, you're obviously gonna try to carefully like brush over those, but your ponytail is gonna have to be like pinned or pulled together behind those because you don't want to push those forward or unpin them by accident. Um, this other hair, just leave it. <laughs> if you have trouble keeping your hair separated, maybe put that in a ponytail for now, a low ponytail, just to keep it out of the way. Now, if you're like, I want this to look so clean, you could like hairspray this as you go, but I frankly don't give a shit, so I'm just leaving it. All right, now, this part is basically like when you're doing a ponytail and you don't pull the last piece the whole way through. Okay, so you've got like this situation. This is what's gonna be your bumper bang, okay? So kind of twist it. I'm sorry, I'm a little congested, so I sound all like breathy and weird. You're gonna pull that apart. <sighs> and this 
is where like sometimes this looks really great and sometimes it looks like a pile of shit, but whatever. Okay. So I just like hold that in place. I stick my fingers through the tunnel. And basically just like pin it wherever. And the pinning part takes some practice. Like sometimes it'll look really good and other times it'll look like I just have like a random pile of hair on the front of my head. So usually I just anchor it on both sides with a bobby pin until I get the rest of my hair done because it's going to move around. Okay, so then you have this whole situation here. Like, what is this, right? <laughs> so you can do a couple of different things. You can put like a scarf here and tie it off and it looks like you just have long hair and you could curl your hair. Or you can very carefully tuck this hair back into here. And I mean very carefully and like flare it out into like a little similar thing like this. Really easy hairstyle is to basically do a second ponytail and pull that hair into it. Obviously again you have to have kind of long hair to do that. But that's generally what I like to do. And again, wigs are your friend, hair extensions are your friend, or half drops or whatever you want to do. There's no shame in fake hair. So, this ponytail is going to feel really thin, but it really doesn't matter. And then, if you pull it from the top, it's going to be a little zhushi. Or you can add like a flower there, or do whatever you want. I tend to not use ponytails because I just feel like they look weird with my head. So, I like to do more of like a, I tend to do more of like this guy, where I just still leave it pulled out. And then instead of leaving this messy tail, I'll flip it into the hair tie. And then I do that. So A, it hides the hair tie. And then also, with this, you can tuck it in with bobby pins or do whatever, so you have like a fun updo. But, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. Like, you can basically do. I was, It looks like I spent like a ton of time on this, and I totally did it. This video is like seven minutes long because I'm talking through it, but I could do this probably in like three minutes if I was trying to get ready to go somewhere. But yeah, this looks really cute if you add a scarf or a flower to it. So that's generally what that looks like. Okay, so this obviously, that's, yeah, this has turned into a situation. So I'm going to like pull it out, pull it apart a little bit now. And ugh, give it the business and tell it where it needs to go. Because I don't need it looking like that on my head. So pull it more like to the back, not just to the side, but to the back. And pin it in place. I go from underneath, and this time it might not work very well, and that's okay. Sometimes you have to do things twice, so don't like commit to hairspray until you're done. <laughs> Otherwise you have like a gooey mess and you're not happy. And then you gotta brush it out and then your hair's all dry and nasty. Oh, right. All right, so that's that. And sometimes you, since it's in a ponytail, you can like flip it and try to pull the pieces. This looked so much better when I took the picture yesterday than when I'm doing it now. But again, like sometimes I would do this a couple times to get it how I actually wanted it to look. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Sometimes I have to like push it down because <laughs> it gets too excited and flops up in the air. Like an overexcited teenage boy at prom. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Heck job hairstyle. I feel like I need to press this side down so they match. Alright. Sorry I'm like 
like all out of, actually I'm not, sorry, but I'm all out of breath when I do these because I'm like trying to talk quietly and do my hair and I'm congested and I have all this inflammation in my chest. But that's just who I am. All right, here we go. There it is. Oh. Have a good day, everybody. Let me know if you need help or if you figure this out. I would normally spray this and get rid of all this, but I'm at home and I, I just don't care. Love you.